It is my time. It is my moment. The passion ignites. Kapo Apango. Can it ignite the All Blacks? Or will Australia rise to the challenge and make history? Every line greeted with a roar from the crowd in great voice in such wonderful conditions. Angus Gardner becomes the first Australian since Dick Byers back in 1980 to referee a Bledisloe Cup test. Ben O'Keefe and Paul Williams will run the sidelines. Mike Fraser is the TMO. What have we got for the countdown there, Paulie? So many questions to be answered. Can the All Blacks continue this phenomenal run at this stadium? Is it another false dawn for Australia or is the Tasman tide really turning? The All Blacks won the toss, have chosen to play right to left in the first half. Australia will okay, kick off. Okay, right. yep. okay, Sam. And for the first time in over 20 years, sunshine on the backs of the players as a test kicks off at Eden Park. And it's James O'Connor who sets the match alight. Patrick Tuipolotu claiming the kickoff. What a big role for him this afternoon. He's the senior man now in that second row. All Blacks looking to work it up to the 22 and then go to the boot of Aaron Smith. And he'll put it into touch. Interested in what you make of the call of the All Blacks to play right to left if the sun becomes a factor, Justin. Just think they want to get their hands on the ball. They didn't have enough of it last week. Expect them to play a lot more. Dundon paying up um, also throws deep and it's nicely taken down the back by young Harry Wilson who was so impressive in Wellington. Now punching onto it another who shone in the capital, Hunter Paisami. So they've got good field First position, man. but it's been turned over by the All Blacks. No issue. So some great no. work on the ground. And back it goes to Richie Moonga. Shannon Frizzell it was who stole it on the ground. So that's a great start for him. Tom Banks has taken just on his own side of halfway. And now Nick White, short ball, quickly passed on from Tupo to Matt Phillip. Wallaby's just keen to get a feel of the ball early on. Brandon paying a Mossa. Hooker born in Auckland, moved across the Tasman. And there's a ball dropped by Tupo. And just a bit of a scuffle there too with Dane Coles. And now it becomes just a bit more than a scuffle. Oh, it's fired up. And no doubt there, there's some passion the and some here. tension out there. Tupo was such a menace last week. Ran into Dane Coles, he never backs down, never shirks. Yeah, three goals. They're still two. having words. Yeah. Um, boys. Yeah, yeah, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Line speed, um, Sam Kane's up fast. Up comes Coles. Um, boys. He did enough yeah. to be in the face yeah, I... of Tupo, gives him a slap around yeah. the ears, says, I'll be there all day, mate. No, listen, listen. And he won't yeah, back down Tupo. Yeah, 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 Let's right. go. All right. No more. No, no more. Thank you. It's uh, Israel Adesanya. Such a cult figure in New Zealand sport now, and he likes what he saw. Wow, some early tension. Aimed at Tupo. Training scrum last week was really solid. Hickwake's almost identical. Didn't see a lot of Adi Savir off the back. He's so explosive there, but there's an opportunity for him to bounce out to the right. Paisami's the defender over Find. there. And a chance for him just to get some momentum into Six. the game off the back of the scrum. Keep it up. Good. Solid scrum. Good. And they go to Moonga quickly on to Goodhue. Now the wide pass and not taking it cleanly. Had to leave it behind was Caleb Clark. Wasn't just a great pass. Ground, yep. Little one on the ground. Quite surprised by the option. There, there was good opportunity to bounce out yeah. to the right. 
Yeah, great. Even if you bring that defender that's sitting up in behind Adi Savia with Aaron Smith, they could have found the space. Look at all that Big space point. here on the right and the width of Jordy yeah, Barrett. We opt to the left. Australia are up hard and flat. Um, good use forced to try standing, and make a very really good. That was a standing swift goal. right to left pass. Can't quite execute. Caleb can't, can't pick it up. So early errors from the All Blacks. Not sure they got their decision making right there. I think perhaps Justin, they just wanted to get him in the game. Uh, and what we saw in the last five or ten minutes last night, dry ground, ball in hand, an opportunity to gain some confidence, but the execution, okay, as you say, guys, again, not please. there. There was some Crouch. thought that maybe Good Hugh and Leonard Brown. Might swap Five. around a bit, but good you appearing in the inside channel Six. early on. Now Australia trying to put the heat on. Front rows come up, and the referee will reset. No. No. We're both up. Yeah, no, listen, we're both up. And, guys, listen, I can't reward you if you stand up, OK? Yeah. Like the All Blacks, as you see. Yeah, Dave Rennie and his coaching staff. Right. Australia have a good opportunity. Platform launch. Dungunu, who was so lethal. This is a great shot of it on the high. You can see him there just positioning himself. Boy, he had footwork and explosive pace last weekend. I'll look to inject them from this zone if they can. And, of course, wide out on the left, another big threat. Marika Kurembeti hugging the touchline. Square still. And it goes again, and it's a penalty to Australia. First blood at scrum time. Number three. And, collapsing. well, from here, I wonder whether they might give it to Rhys Hodge. No, he's on the bench, of course. He'll be a factor later, but this is a, a, a crucial little kick here. They want to have their line-outs working well. They want to have field position where they can attack. And they've got it. The, the, I thought that the execution in the line-out was good last week as we really watched some power here from an Australian scrum. We haven't seen this in many years. That is dominant. The line-out drive was problematic for them. Whilst they were winning the ball, they couldn't make any gains off line-out more. So good. I think they're going to be innovative. See more peels off the back and front than drives. Brandon Panga Amosa not taken cleanly. Tipped on the Australian side. Philip got just enough of it. O'Connor held up, put on the ground, just short of the 22. Now they go to Philip. And they can go either way. They go to the right to Moore. Now O'Connor coming up outside, slipping the first tackle of Frizzell, taking it inside the 22. To Moore, moving it on. A good opportunity here for the Australians to force something early on. To Moore hit hard. But the support, well, the All Blacks get another turnover at the breakdown. It's Frizzell again. I think it's a double turnover. Australia got it back. They have two. White can see it. Rips it away. Scampers off to the left. They were waiting for Paisami. Hooper now pops it up to James Slipper. Runs into Joe Moody, Sam Kane there as well. Now Tupo with the carry. Vai trying to wrap him up. Wilson now building nicely here, Australia. O'Connor held on to it and hit hard. Plenty of force in the tackles, but Australia keep coming, and it's Tupo breaking through just a couple of metres short of the line. Salvia latches hands onto the ball and wins a penalty. Well, Australia looking good, but New Zealand looking very good at the breakdown. Well, they are. Shannon Frizzell, a couple of turnovers. Adi Savia really had to stretch himself to win that turnover. But equally, Nick White's taking steps. James O'Connor holding that ball in one hand. A threat. Tupo, absolutely dangerous. Philip carrying hard. The All Blacks asked some big questions early in this test match defensively. Well, I've answered them. I just wonder about the, the tactic, too, of Australia going deep in the line out. It, it, it's worked twice for them. That might have been slightly accidental, but, boy, those, those runners close into the back of the line-out are very, very threatening. You have to question whether Adi Savia was on side and got back behind the highmost foot. He was a tackler. Uh, he probably might have got away with a reasonably favourable call there, the All Blacks. They needed it. Matt Phillip. Making plenty of noise on the Australian side of the line-out. And uh, it's not a tidy one. Taken down by Tupo Vai. The All Blacks have to work it away from the touchline now. And 
give it to Big Ofa to Fasi. Australia going in hard on the counter ruck. Let's take him back in. What's up, mate? Oh, New Zealand can't put this out on the full. So Smith bangs it high down towards halfway. Nicely taken though by Nangunu and off he goes. The danger man fires the pass away to Kurin Bitti. Lifts it behind us. Picked up by Nangunu. Now the offload away to his left. And Paisami is there for Australia. Once again, New Zealand looking to force the turnover. This time it's Anton Leonard Brown. And the All Blacks will look to break. Kane now. Offloading it nicely to Goodyear. Alan Smith up in support. He's dragged to the ground just inside the half. Moonga going in to clear it. So again, New Zealand really good at the breakdown. Fully bound, please. Now Smith comes in play, just slowing down. Goodyear moving it on. Leonard Brown. It was his steal that turned it around. Now Vai. Quickly on to Ipolotu, to Joe Moody, trying to latch onto it as uh, well. He's done well too. Michael Hooper. This time Australia gets one back right on halfway. He read it well, Michael Hooper. And, and technically, usually you see that player who's in over looking to jackal the ball. I think they'll probably have a shot at the post here, Australia. They use usually two hands and then look to get their hands on the ball. That time, Michael Hooper recognised that he couldn't get his left arm over, so he just grabbed a hold of it with his right arm. Stayed in the fight until he could get two hands onto it. But he'd done enough with the right hand to win the turnover. Interesting, Smithy. I would have thought they might have had a crack from here, but they're going for the line out. Well, Reese Hodge on the field, yes, no doubt about it. And that might be a case later in the match, you'll see. But... Uh, I think the line-out's going so well, and for O'Connor, I think, into the breeze, it might have been right at the peak of his range, Justin. So I think this is a safer option. And the way the set-piece has been going, I think it's very safe. And uh, Hooper, well, he won't stay out of it for long. 101st test match, and so low-key after his 100th last week. Just let's get on with business. Australia pushing into that breeze in the first half. Philip has it. They work the move round the back, paying a Amosa. Now Cooper running... Rather, O'Connor running. And now they go wide. Tom Banks up in the line. Hooper now. Just inside the 22. Slipper with the carry. Now they go to Wilson. That offload, but it's not taken cleanly by Philip. And Bowden Barrett is there to swoop on it for the All Blacks. Yes, yeah, yeah. I can't play on there. There's Didn't no work advantage. there, Justin, but uh, the man in the red yeah, headgear is going to be a key ball runner for the Wallabies this afternoon. The reason they've put him back at eight and no brought Hannigan yeah, in at no, six is for advantage. that reason, to free him up to do that job. Yeah, well, I agree. And, and great innovation at the line-out from a six-man line-out. Look at the players in motion here. So as they bring Come it mate. down, you get Nick White going around the front, appeal that comes to the back, the inside ball and the runner. So Tamu was the dummy across the face of him to O'Connor, back on the inside. Tom off. They are not going to die wondering this Aussie outfit. Well, James O'Connor coming back into the side and entrusted with that role okay, as the on. playmaker with Matt Tamu outside and just so many possibilities. <laughs> Water arrives, there is Tomua. Make sure we're staying Sam clear, Whitelock out here. there with the water for the All Blacks. Ruled out midway through the week with a concussion. Trend continues though. Blistering start from Australia. There is Sam Whitelock. All Blacks have already been asked. To have to make 27 tackles early in this test match, opposed to 12 from no. Australia. Boys. Boys, first three scrums were Just see that move on the Don't left there. Look at the Australians okay. there. So the confident about their set the piece line. at the moment. There will be real pressure on this defensive All Black scrum. Well, the All Black scrum has been such a weapon, so dependable over that oh, long period of time. Please don't lean. 
Really interesting Stay positioning square. of Richie Mwanga here. Crouch. Not in the traditional spot that you would expect Find. for an exit player. I wonder if they're looking to hit Goodhue flat and phase first Set. and peel back to Mwanga. Scrum wheeling just a little. And they do go. Goodhue had to wait, but he swings it wide. Here's Barrett in a bit of space. Bowden Barrett sells a dummy to his brother, chops back and field, and eventually they pull him down. Ball still alive, but only they loses it. Paisami has it for Australia. By the knock on and advantage. maybe now they'll look to break through with yeah. Corin Betty coming across from the wing. O'Connor now knock. opts to kick. Caleb Clark going back. Well, a chance to wind up and have a go here. The young left winger. And he breaks almost through the first. Gets a good offload away to Dane Coles. There for Smith. Now punching hard onto it was Jordy Barrett coming in close. Now Bowden Barrett. So the All Blacks just looking to up the tempo here. Caleb Clark, good solid tackle made by James Slipper though for Australia. Now Tonga Fussy as Hooper came flying at him. Maunga now moving it on. Kane is there. Strides out of the first tackle. Pops it up to Smith. Jordy Barrett's there. Good shoot. Little show of the ball on the inside. Spinning around is Leonard Brown. All Blacks keeping it alive. Vai now. Down to the 22. And it's there for Aaron Smith. All Blacks lined up away to the left. Barrett takes them on. Good quick ball for Aaron Smith now. Pops it up. Tonga Fasi. Jordy Barrett with the fend on White. Tonga Fasi gets rid of it. Dane Coles now. Taken inside the 22. First real attacking opportunity coming up from the All Blacks. But the ball is lost. They'll go back. To Hooper, and now Corin Betty decides to on. move it to Omua. Yeah. Kicks from inside the 22. And it goes out just up Slow towards down. halfway. Let's check it. Let's check the original ruck was inside. Not convinced mate. he was inside yeah, the 22. Inside. But the officials seem inside? pretty adamant that he is. Yeah, what a scintillating inside. period Sorry, of play. You're right there. That's right. It was inside. Well, he set me off balance when he kicked, and that was the problem that he mistimed it as well because he was so conscious about staying inside oh, the 22. Guys. It was a real miss hit from Thank Matt Tamua, most unusual. Mark, Who threw please. the Barrett switch? Boy, did they get yep. involved there. Black, please, Certainly please did. come up to the line. Jordy ran an come aggressive line. line. He got you. hit pretty hard, but he's tough. Yeah. Yep, two of them on the field, one on the bench. Scott Barrett on the comeback from a foot injury. Again, the Australians making a lot of noise. Bit of pushing too. But Wai wins the line out. Good Hugh again. Short pass away to Leonard Brown. Trying to latch onto it as Hooper. Had to let it go. Well, Play on. comes almost to a standstill. And then Aaron Smith gets things moving pretty quickly. Frizzell picks it up. Throws off Michael Hooper. And goes again. Pops it up to Smith. Managed to hang on, but it's fallen for Tupo. Gets the kick away. How did he do that? Now about that. Incredible skill from Taniela Tupo. Well, the match is really opening up now. And Bowden Barrett sprinting down the middle. Spinning out of a tackle. And still going. A brilliant run from Barrett. Coming for Smith now. Tui Polotu takes it into contact, struggling to bring him in, into ground, the Australians. Now, Frizzell are starting to beat the first tackle, the All Blacks. Referee's playing advantage too. Short pass away, Caleb Clark, breaking tackles. Bumping off by Sami, offloading it away, picked up by Sabia. They'll come back. Well, the crowd roaring because Adi Sabi has crossed the line, but they'll have to come back. Well, they're Knock coming back first. for the penalty, but yeah. if the All Blacks were after some X Factor, they certainly have got it in abundance. Bowden Barrett, how many tackles did he break? And this man on screen now, powerful, explosive. The All Blacks are going to take the opportunity to calm this test down and take three. Just back, just back, sorry mate. But the sorry, breakout sorry. was absolutely um, superb. The yeah, footwork of Barrett, the pace, yeah. the intent. There's two tacklers gone. No. There's three and four. There's no, a fend right. on the fifth. Sorry. Nobody can bring him down. Eventually he goes to ground. Yeah, you're right. And then the short pass to Caleb Clark who gets rid of two tacklers. And then boom, far. See you later, Paisami, man. Pardon me? Yeah.
We well, have got some entertainment in front of us this afternoon. They certainly have, and we've also got a debut happening right here and now because Anton Leonard Brown has left the field with a blood bin situation, and the fella just calling in last, Peter Umanga Jensen, is on in 22. So a debut, a really early one for the Wellingtonian. Uh, Caleb Clark watched on by his father, Irani, and great moment for 22-year-old Peter Umanga Jensen. Yeah, but it's different when he's not the first been working man, hard, uh, Justin, you've been hearing Aaron Smith in the effects, Mike, working hard on Angus Gardner to get this penalty. Here's Peter Umanga Jensen, follows his uncles Tana Umanga and Jerry Collins into an all-black jersey, product of Scots College in Wellington. Called into the squad late with the injury to Rico Ioane, but the yeah, tension so cool. now on Richie Moonga, who will take the first shot of the afternoon for the All Blacks. Tell it was really noticeable as well. As you see, All Black number 1189, Peter Umanga Jensen. What a magical moment for him. He's had a fantastic year to date, and man, this caps it off. But I was about to say, was. The All Blacks offloading in the tackle. You didn't see a lot of that last week. There was one stage there where they popped three, four, five passes together just to avoid Australia jackling them at the con contact area. Players running off in support play. Very different mindset to last yeah. week. Good to see. Australia yep. missing more tackles on Bowden Barrett than they missed in the whole game last week. Dave Rennie be most disappointed with that. Yeah, they've missed 14 tackles already in this game, Australia. Now, Richie Moonga, first opportunity to kick for goal. Sends it down the middle, and the All Blacks lead by 3-0. Survived early pressure. Won a couple of important steals, and then... Starting to up the pace of the game. Have the first points. O'Connor. This time down the middle more. And Jordy Barrett is there. Aaron Smith just having a look around. Sees a couple of big forwards away to his right. And one of them is Patrick Tuipulutu. Tuonga Fasi there with him. And Moody. And they drive him out of the 22. This time he looks set to kick. Puts it high, Geordie Barrett leading the chase, but coming forward nicely and taking it was Tom Banks. Now Tupo winding up, going hard in towards Joe Moody. Moody stood his ground. White now. Now Wilson, Umanga Jensen, pulls him to ground. Now White away to O'Connor. Tupo again, they're watching him. O'Connor. And this time it's big. Lukan Salakaya Lotu with the carry. Now the Australians look to get into gear, but the ball's left behind by Filippo Dangunu. Knock on. Caleb Clark has it. He's wrestled to ground by O'Connor. Turnover possession again. Barrett now Benny moving Jones it on. Moonga. Little show of the ball and cleverly eluding a couple of players. And offloading to Umanga Jensen. Coles! Over halfway goes Dane Coles. Coming up back to grab him is Hannigan. It's there for Aaron Smith now. Barrett puts the kick through for his brother. Johnny's flying. Johnny Barrett. Well, getting there first was Corian Benny, but he's carried it back. It'll be a five-metre scrum. Excellent mindset straight away. Off the turnover that Caleb Clark managed to snaffle and stay in play. I thought they were, they were set to kick. However, the footwork, the clever trickery of Richie Moonga to offload to Umaga Jensen, and then Dane Coles setting up the play for Bowden Barrett as a first receiver slotting in spotted the space the kick came at the right time they didn't kick early they yeah, kicked when they needed to and play. knew they could get some yep. change out of they have big time with a five minute scrum and some attention for Bowden Let's Barrett go. after the kick to make on. your mind up whether you thought the hit Let's by go, Harry please. Wilson Pull was uh, a legal one or not I think it probably go, was please. he was committed to it but he go felt on. it Right on the tee. Yeah, you called it, Smithy. Definitely committed. Good option from Bowden Barrett. 
Again, there's that balance. Wonga with his trickery earlier okay, was out of play, up. so Barrett stepped I'm in as that first receiver. Let's go. Just come back up. Go. Boys, stay square. Uh, Geordie Barrett Elbows in close. Up. Bowden yep. Barrett is uh, just having a word way out left to uh, Caleb Clark. Man, Boys, make sure there's no lean. Size of that kid. Wait for my call. I think if I was looking to get a little hook in to a defender, it would be Matt Tamua. If you can just throw something into his eye line, he might gravitate towards it. He likes to come forward hard and get the shoulder on and then deceptively go behind that play or a runaround play could work. No blind. Five metre scrum. And use now. And Smith away goes good. He goes hard and strong at them. And he's stuck just half a metre short. The referee's playing advantage, but the All Blacks are in. And it's Aaron Smith. Absolutely nothing subtle about this from the All Blacks. Two or three times already, he's been a handful yep. on the carry, Jack Goodhue, full of intent. This time, yep. he just got it flat off the scrum and backed himself. Puts the big shoulder and busts through the tackle of, of O'Connor. Tamua's only holding on, and the ruck speed is absolutely sensationally quick. And Aaron Smith, right there as always, powers over. Peter Rumanga Jensen uh, over the top yep. there as well. Aaron Smith's just great little poacher that he is. He's had a strong start to this test match as well. Word on Anton Leonard Brown. He's getting a big head strapping in the uh, players dugout at the moment. He will be back very shortly, Leonard Brown. Well, you feel that first try so important. The All Blacks had been building, but they needed points to show for it. Wonga just to the right of the posts here. Can make it 10 to nil. extra points and the All Blacks lead by 10 to nil 23 minutes gone well, Peter Umunga Jensen's little cameo is over and an effective one too okay we're good to go blood replacement done okay. and Tom Leonard Brown back as O'Connor kicks up for the third time all Blacks looking into the sun in the first half, but nicely taken by Artie Savia. And Smith got one last week, gets one this week. And again, the ball goes high. Waiting for it, Banks didn't take it cleanly. Loses possession. And so the All Blacks have another chance to attack. Good shoot. Barrett had to evade the oncoming to Moore. Now Frizzell, but Tui Pelotu left the ball behind him. Hooper's there, the offload away to Phillip. And Australia off turnover position get a chance now to get something back. Tuamua now, little double pump. O'Connor nicely collected by Wilson. Threw the offload away. Barrett managed to pull it down. Got a boot to it. Australia have it back. O'Connor banks quickly on. Now Paisami well, had a go at them. And they lose possession again in the middle of the park. Again, they the just look very dangerous, threatening Australia. Plenty yep. of players injecting themselves, good footwork, offloading the tackle. But unlike last week, Here we go, boys. where they were so methodical, they were absolutely relentless in maintaining the ball. They've just this week probably speculative passes that we yep, didn't let's go, see. Please, in the contact um, zone that haven't been sticking, point, whereas they were last Keep week. Probably up. something for them to address. Stay square, stay square on the far side. It's just a couple of times passes have Wait been overrun. Passes that might have stuck last week. Crouch! Bye. Fourth scrum of the game. All of them have been all black feeds. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. yeah, boys, a bit more patience, please. Okay. And Taniello Tupo, they've tried to get the big man into the game. 
but he's been well looked after so far. Good set up from the All Blacks. Australia have to cover the kick, so they've got Crouch. Corabetti and Banks back, but the All Blacks flat. Look at that lineup. Bind. Really on to come left if they want to throw set. caution to the wind. Keep the, A little keep glance the around up. from Aaron Jordan, Smith. Keep the up. And use. Now, Moonga. Well, fake to kick. Leonard Brown quickly through the hands. Clark chopping the field, breaking tackles again. So impressive, so strong. Well, they lined up backwards. Sam Kane. He lost it behind him. That's a great hit from no, Harry Wilson. But the possession is maintained. Good hue now. Smith away to Vai. Again, the tackle from Harry Wilson. Moonga quickly on now to Tui Polotu. Safe carry this time. Now the switch. Barrett was calling for it. Puts it onto the left foot. And uh, goes straight down the throat of Tom Banks. Crowd booing because they felt that Barrett had been taken out after the kick. Referee was happy, though. To the left they go. And playing a Mosa. Cole's coming across to make the tackle on him. Frizzell has been immense at the breakdown. This time can't affect the turnover. Well, that was awkward for Ned Hannigan right on the advantage line. And the All Blacks sensing the opportunity for another steal, but it's there for Nick White. People away to the left, and they give it to him. But Leonard Brown is there. O'Connor moving it on. Big Matt Phillip. Again, over the ball was Artie Savia. They're challenging, but the Australians keep possession. Bit of depth on their attack now. Two and more. And a good pass and two. Frees up a little bit of space here for Dungu, who slips the tackle of Goodhue. Bowden Barrett comes across and stops him, but they've taken play almost to the 22. Interrupt from the All Blacks. They drive over it, and it's there. But Tupol Vahey, but he's had it ripped away from him by White. Now they have an opportunity to stretch them away to the left. Banks opted to go into contact. Moody with hands on the ball. And off your feet. Kept them on too long. Penalty advantage here, Australia. Ball bouncing up for Harry Wilson. Moving it on quickly. Paisami, he's chopped down by Goodhue. Dangunu, no way through there. So the referee just allows advantage to play on. Hannigan now breaks the first tackle. Ned Hannigan, he's got Hooper inside him. Tackle made by Bowden Barrett. Here's the opportunity for the Wallabies now. Tupol, he's cut down by Leonard Brown. They keep it alive. Corin Betty's in. Oh, oh, that was very good. I did think that the short ball to Tupo might have cost and squashed the opportunity off the line break. However, how quick was the recycle off the Tupo carry? That's what set the try up, continued the momentum. The All Blacks just could not scramble and get back on side defensively. Really nice line break, playing under penalty advantage. Hannigan gets rid of two tacklers, spots Hooper on his inside, pops a nice ball to Hooper, tough in the contact. Nick White there, quick as a flash. There's the short pass. Look at the numbers on the outside. However, look how quick that is. And it's Tamua that's there to Cora Betty. Oh, boy, that's good. Yeah, fantastic uh, transition from defence as well. But, yeah, I think he's pulled the right rein with his loose forward mix, Dave Rennie, because Hannigan there was the ball carrier. But Wilson's been the pest. He was the player on Bowden Barrett again. And now they're reaping the rewards with Hooper being a ball carrier on that as well. Very, very slick. And uh, this test match... This is going to be very close and thrilling throughout. You get the sense of that because the, the skill level is so high and the conditions are perfect. Do we need to hold the kick? Brilliant point? rugby. Well, Mike, the selection of Hannigan just, yeah, just, sorry, mate. was intended going, partly yep. okay. to give them a bit of extra strength at line-out time, but it also meant that Harry Wilson could go back to his preferred position of number eight. Now, James O'Connor... We've seen him kick them from wide out plenty of times before. And this one, he struck it beautifully. O'Connor the conversion, and it's 10-7. Down on halfway, though, uh, well, sorry, the Australian 10-metre mark is an all-black injured player. Though. Now, one of these two players, it's Joe, maybe Joe Moody, he was involved in the tackle, the missed tackle on Hannigan. I think there was a clash of head between two all-blacks here. Certainly Moody goes there, there's another all-black comes in. 
It's Sam Kane. Moody's on his hip. There you go. Hits right flush on his hip. Yeah, and look at that reaction. He drops his shoulders straight away, so he's pretty much... Which means, Tony, another debut coming up. And you can talk us through Alex Hodgman. Yeah, they've called for the stretcher. So one of the changes the All Blacks made involved these two here, Carl Tui Nukuwafi to the left, and Alex Hodgman. How are we looking up top, buddy? Let's just have one more look at this try, how Australia stayed patient from this mini break as it shifts, and we pause it right now, just as before Tupo gets the ball. The numbers that they have, and they're all at good depth. They've got the ability to score. He goes with the short as we roll it on, option to Tupo. There's still numbers, however, the crick we cycle didn't enable Jordy Barrett and Richie Moonga to get back. Good yep. patience, but wow. You can, you can see too how effective it was. As Hodgman comes on, he'll get a good reception too. Spends a lot of time on Eden Park. But the way it drew Jordy Barrett and Justin was quite significant, you're right. 1190 now. Yes, and another All Black out of Mount Albert Grammar School. Talking of which, Caleb Clark, 21 years of age, his first test on Eden Park, and he's been a handful. Oh, he's been a handful. And, and what you like is he's, he's just a, got intent. He has nothing other in his sights than breaking tackles, busting tackles, and trying to get through that defensive line every time he gets his hands on the ball. It's been an explosive, exceptional start for young Caleb Clark. Real raw power. Well, I mentioned Mount Albert Grammar School. He became All Black number 17. Now, Hodgman 18. That's if you include Nepal Laulala in that mix, who <laughs> went on to okay. Wesley College, Michael. but started out at okay. Mount Albert Grammar School that's produced many great rugby players. Brian that's Williams, fine, Sonny Bill Williams, but oh, this okay, is a sad moment on. here. Well, he's sitting up as he goes past yeah, me yeah. and uh, clearly he's uh, quite dazed, but sitting up, that's the good news. Well, Hodgman is going to get 50 minutes out there now. To a Moore, he just clipped as he got the kick away and he's gone down and he looks in some discomfort. I'm not sure what happened there. Well, All Black went past him. I'm not sure what he what he got him with. It was Jordy Barrett. Yeah, well, he did really well to Moore because he basically caught the ball, just dropped it onto his foot and kicked all in one movement, which is never easy, particularly when you've got yeah, players pull, pull bearing something. down on you. And the main, amount of metres he managed to peel off from it was outstanding. We'll have a little look now. So he's just quick catch, okay, drops Matt. to the foot. Okay. Well, he wasn't clipped at all. He's done a groin muscle there. Bit of a hip, fle hip flexor, I think, yeah. Well, he's battling okay, on. guys, here we go. They won't want to lose him because that two playmaker oh, gold. unit that they've got in O'Connor and Tumua okay, numbers, is please. so effective. Two, four, six. So it's an all-black throw. Oh, and Tui Polotu goes high. Hold. Brings it down under a bit of pressure yeah, from Hannigan. No. And now they look to advantage. drive it away. Straight the side. And the referee playing advantage. It's against Tupo. They want to carry this on here. Tupo came on the side. Now they wheel it away to the right. Keep their shape. But emerging with it now advantage. is Coles. You have it? Uh, Savia back trying to work his way through. They'll come back for yep. the penalty. Straight in the side, six. You can't go in there. In fact, I think it was Ned Hannigan in the end who was penalised. Pardon me? Six. So much of the talk during the week was about the All Blacks' ability to bounce back from a draw or a loss in these Bledisloe Cup games. Off the line, please. 19 years since they last Come on, failed to off. win two in a row. Right, good. That was 2001. Coles going high as Brazil. And over. And once more, they set it up for a drive. Not really going anywhere. Stay on side. Coles had it. 
And again, it's a penalty advantage against Ned Hannigan. Okay, use now. He says use it. Calling for it was Geordie Barrett. They go down the short side. And Artie Sabi is there and he shrugs off the tackle of White. Cannons into the tackle of Corin Betty and still fights on inside the 22. New advantage slowing down. Another advantage against Australia. They look to work it out into the middle of the park and Sam Kane is there bumping them off. Now they go back to the right. Lost by Frizzell. I'll come back for the New penalty. Advantage. Well, they will. And Tamu is in trouble. That hip flexor looks like it's really bothering him. Somebody powered straight through his tackle. That's him now down. But very, yeah, very second one for number six in the side. Typical. And then 14 got rolling. Of Artie Savia to never die in the tackle. Leg drive and determination. Yep. For his okay. ability to be able to do that Sub. meant that defenders were yep. compromised. Earned to penalty. Jordan Pattaya, fellas, on in jersey 22 for Australia. Out of the squad last week, included this time round, explosive player. But that is a sad sight because he's such an influential player. He really is the general of that back line, Matt Tamura. He's a great pivot outside O'Connor as well and a playmaker from that perspective. So they'll hope that's not long term. Unfortunately, a groin injury like that, they're frequently short-term injuries, in, and, and, and that's a big blow for them too. It certainly is. But however, Jordan Pattaya is an incredibly dangerous player as well. Him in sync with Andre Paisami will create more problems for the All Blacks. It's how they gel in defence is key as well, though. Different kind of threat, isn't he? Just to say, infrequently a short-term injury. No surprises here, sorry TJ, that they're going for the line out, the All Blacks, their line out more, Australia is struggling with big time. Back 10, back 10, run out. Well, the drive has been effective so far, Frizzello can't reel it in, but it's there for Kane, leaves it behind him. No, it went backwards off black. Now Tui Polotu picks it up and goes hard, Hooper struggling to bring him to ground, they pop it up, Vai is there, now Frizzell. Just 10 metres out from the goalposts here, the All Blacks. Kane now. Smith just leaves it there for Sabia. Tui Polotu with the carry. Hannigan trying to tear it away. And they get the penalty. Number six well, it's on a kickable three, Clear Smithy, left. that they've turned down. They couldn't get the line-out execution right. They still managed to, through one of the best players in this first half for the All Blacks, Sam Kane, he's won and wanted to win every little contest out there. He managed to snaffle it, but eventually the turnover. So possibly an opportunity lost there, not shooting for the post. I agree totally, Justin. I don't think it's going to be a lot in this test match, and I, I, I kind of feel every opportunity you've got to take, and Moanga nailed the first one quite easily. So I, I think that is a, a blown opportunity without doubt. We'll see the, the turnover here. This time it's Hannigan over the top. The big number six go. strong there with his presence. Thank you, boys. Well done. Been a, a bit of a mixed bag. Ned Hannigan made a couple of good runs. Been penalised a couple of times. That's a good steal. Australia on your own 10 metre mark. Brandon Payne a Mosa. And nicely taken down by Lukan Salakaya Lotu. They drive on him. Now the referee says move it or use it or lose it. And so they go high, white, bright sunshine for Clark and oh, Hooper got the fact it was Wilson who got there first. And now it falls nicely for O'Connor, quickly through the oh, tackle made by Leonard Brown on Corin Betty, loose ball. They still manage to smuggle it away, Australia, under a bit of pressure. Philip is there, O'Connor now, Tupol. Just on the All Black side of halfway, real venom in these tackles, and now space for Hunter Paisami. Clark firm on the tackle, but Paina Amosa is there. No, missed it. Oh, Wilson diving in to make sure the ball comes back. They keep it alive. White now, little wrap around from O'Connor. Beautiful play. Hannigan is out there, but Corin Betty, who's been a real mixed bag, still yeah, maybe feeling that man. thunderous hit, loses it. Yeah, he got hit hard. It was absolutely how you're taught to tackle. Anton Leonard Brown just zeroed in and dropped the shoulder right into the midsection, Thank slightly you. out of the blind side go, of Betty. But wow, in he goes. Nice and solid. 
And from there, though, they were put off Australia, really yep. manipulated, worked hard. Paisami went through, good yeah, tackle from Caleb on. Clark. Playing on here, boys. Let's go, let's go. And as they swung it back across to the far side, O'Connor definitely picked out the right man here. Yeah, the skip pass was perfect. Creates just a little bit of space. But the oh, breakdown was between okay. Hannigan and also yeah, far side the inside ball to Connor Betty didn't work. This side, wait for the call, OK? Just wait for the call. Well, okay? so much has happened already in this game. Two and a half minutes out from half time, and the All Blacks lead by just three points. It's a fear rifled away this half, oh. hasn't it? But I mean, so what, entertaining. what a privilege it is to be able to watch this quality of sport Boys! in front of a packed crowd in these conditions. You think of what's going on around the world, how lucky we are. Boys, there, there, is, there is no gap, okay? Good to see some yeah, Australians no in the crowd. There's not many of them, but they're here. A couple of flags along the front, the apron there, uh, both, smattering both of just yellow and gold. So with the time on the clock, in this zone here, as a, as a nine, what you're thinking about is trying to disrupt the exit as best you can. So what Nick White will be thinking about doing is getting in, maybe niggling at Savia, who will probably look to Crouch. go off the back here if it's not a stable scrum. Boys. It is stable. Smith will look to clear to probably Six. get good here, but Nick White will get in the way, I think. And the All Blacks just try to drive this one away. And they get the penalty. They really are looking to impose themselves at scrum time. Well, that's a pat on the back, too, for the new man, isn't it? Alec Todman, a scrum under pressure, losing their premier prop in uh, Joe Moody, who uh, I'm told is OK under the grandstand. Knocked out momentarily. But this is good. A good sign. Good. Don't close, well, That goal. was Hodgman. Good. Don't close, goal. Up against Taniela Tupo. Goal, just step off. Good. Okay. Going to six plus one line out a lot with Sam Kane at halfback. The All Blacks. Aaron Smith is out hey, to use two. it for predominantly most of the half. <laughs> Penny at the front. Sorry, TJ. Penny at competition at line out time. But Vai wins possession for the All Blacks. And again, it's good you challenging that defensive line. O'Connor made the tackle. Morgan and now cut out pass. Bowden Barrett. Good tackle made by Jordan Pattaya. Loose ball has been hacked away by Dunrunu. Going back. There's Richie oh, Moringa, yeah, manages to shrug off one. Oh, does brilliantly, and Alex Hodgman is there in support. Oh, he's under real pressure there, Richie Moringa, and the All Blacks will happily put this into touch. An enthralling first half at Eden Park, and at half time in Bledisloe 2, it's the All Blacks leading Australia by 10 to 7. So, crowd. All the buzz waiting the second half of this one. All Blacks to kick off the second 40. And Richie Maunga drives it down to the 22, where Filippo Dangunu is there. Just to get past the first tackle, that of Geordie Barrett. And deep they go, O'Connor. And Banks now looking to run it out, chop down to Anton Leonard Brown. His defence has been superb. Almost lost it, Australia, but it's still there for Nick White. The All Blacks will try and close them down inside their 22. Okay, use it. White bringing it under control. And now goes for the touchline. Bit of a breeze at his back in the second half. Just hasn't got into the game to the same extent, Justin, as last week. I think we all agreed okay, he was gold. perhaps player of the match, Nick White, gold, but his influence not open. quite the same. Stay. All back to sweating on him a bit, but you just cannot afford to take your eye off him. So dangerous when he takes steps. Chance for the All Blacks to launch now from the 10 metre mark, and they bring Caleb Clark straight into the fray. Managed to hang on to him. Combination of O'Connor and Hooper. Now they carry it on through Patrick Toy Puluki. 22 just away to the right. Savia now. Going underneath him was James Slipper. Smith, little double pump, and then out to the middle of the park. And just managed to have his ankles clipped. They work it away to Moore, and now trying to get on the outside. Pops it back and field to Caleb Clark. And he's taken just five out 
from the line. Tui Polotu now runs hard at Wilson. And through Wilson. Hodgman waiting for it. He goes to ground now. There it is. Ball's available. Coming now for Smith. Savia away to his right. Goes beyond him. Bowden Barrett was up. No, right, a chance for the All Blacks no to get some early points in the second half. As Opatoa Fussy goes hard at them. Tackle made by the new man, Ala Ala Tua. Now Moonga pops it away to Goji! Johnny Barrington! Quality finish from the All Blacks. Again, you have to say one of the instigators was Caleb Clark. Off the line out, they only just managed to hold on to him. Look at the power and the intent. Hooper's hanging on, O'Connor's hanging on. The footwork of Richie Moonga back on the inside. Clark features again. They stayed patient. Tonga Fasi had a go. Hodgman had a go. And then when it came to the right time to deliver, Moonga comes from deep, brings in that last defender. Good use timing's perfect. Geordie runs it in pretty much untouched. Very slick. Terrific draw and pass. Bringing in two players. Got him Betty. Drawn into Goodhue as well, thinking that he might have escaped that inside tackle. Wasn't the case, but it was too late once he was able to free it to Geordie Barrett. James Slipper not happy. He thought that perhaps at one of those small situations or ruck situations, Leonard Brown had gone way past the ball and lost his footing. So he made it up motions to the referee unheard. Well, after all the talk in the shed at halftime, how good it must feel when you come out and strike first. They haven't made many poor choices in defence the Wallabies, including last week, but they did make one where a player came way up out of the line and it enabled Dane Coles to make that, that line break, which really gave the All Blacks the momentum. So Moonga taking over the kicking duties this week and trying to draw it and hits the posts, bounces away. It's 15 to 7. Uh, Jody Barrett, who, like Aaron Smith, was a try scorer last week in Wellington. Oh, kick off out to that far side of the field, and Tupo Vai, who's been rock solid no in the middle of it all now. Shannon Frizzell, such a powerful ball carrier, showed out early in the game with his work at the breakdown. Now Vai, Hooper has latched onto it. And he's won a penalty too. Oh, That's great man, work. You guys had a clear the clean skipper. There. I thought it was a bit of a messy ruck. I certainly think one of the Australian defenders, Holding. possibly the tackler who was in an awkward position, didn't enable the All Black cleaners to clean that ruck properly. Hooper, who's absolutely super dangerous when he sniffs an opportunity to get in over the ball here's a charge from frizzell and it's possibly wilson and yeah, where you are solakai and lotu who are over the top there the all black cleaners just couldn't move hooper hey, the uh, they go to the line out right up gold. just inside Good. the 22. and then paying up um also down the back it goes oh picked off brilliantly by shannon frizzell Outside. Wilson was the target, but he never got to touch it. Now the All Blacks maybe will open things up. Leonard Brown taken just inside, on the 22. Inside. Back they go, Moong, and now he kicks, and he kicks deep. Bright sunshine too. The Banks, I think, lost sight of that for a moment. Gets it eventually. Corin Betty takes it back towards Banks. Chopped down though by Geordie Barrett. No, not on the body. Coming for White. Now they go out towards the middle of the park. And James Slipper. Back to O'Connor now. He puts one high. All Blacks with the sun behind them. And it's Caleb Clark. I don't know whether you want to be kicking to this fellow. Because he'll hurt you. He'll hurt you big time. Caleb Clark thundering down towards the 22. And still going. Amazing run from the young winger. He's put the All Blacks deep inside Wallaby territory. Pass goes wide to Salvia. He's in. What a brilliant try by the All Blacks. Oh, what are we witnessing here? Caleb Clark. He is unstoppable. Unstoppable. It was.
wasn't that bad a kick from O'Connor, but Caleb Clark is just full of enthusiasm, just puts his foot down, beats two tacklers. Not enough support there, no one can keep up with him this afternoon, bounces back to his feet. How many people has he smashed out of his way? They swing it off that breakdown, nice from Mwanga. Sevilla beats that tackler, probably should have passed. But at that stage, Aussie were all in disarray, and Sevilla bangs it down. That's absolutely sensational. Really poor kicking option. There wasn't even a chaser anyway, regardless of whether it was Caleb Clark or not. Australia had no pressure on the catcher. But this guy is something different, isn't it? We saw him for five or six minutes last week, and so far, he has made such an impression on this all-black side and their go-forward. Makes all of us proud. Wow. Every one of us. Not that, just them. That's the proudest dad in the world right now. <laughs> he was a pretty good player himself and very hard to tackle a Ronnie Clark. But how about Caleb, 21 years of age, just 12 minutes in Wellington, but it was enough to convince the selectors that he deserved a start. So 20 to 7. The kick sprayed wide, but a three-point lead has become a 13-point lead. It was hunted by Sami who flew up out of the line and just missed Savia, and that was the end of it. Not taken down nicely. Back on, back on. Shannon Frizzell, who's done a lot of good things in this game. The All Blacks line up some of the big boppers, but behind them, Mohonga says, let's go downtown. O'Connor, back. Now Banks, well, he hasn't really run yet. Tries to take them on. A good follow-up tackle made by Ufa Toongafasi through the hands. Corin Betty. There for Nick White. And uh, Hannigan, he's been elusive. And now Philip, good run from the lock and the offload. This is great from the Wallabies. Looking to hit back, slipper now. Savia bails out quickly. They flew in. Now O'Connor runs, and he runs hard. Now they get it away. Hooper, Dalrunal. Good tackle made on the far side by Bowden Barrett. But the threat's still there. Wilson charging onto it. Now the Wallabies desperate to fight back and be next to score. Savia over the ball. Referee says illegally. Now O'Connor. On it goes to Pettaya. He's a real threat, this guy. Pops it over the top. Tony Betty for the corner. Oh, what a try. Well, has he got it down, though? Has he got it down? No, he has not. Held up. What great defence. Yeah, I'm going back for the advantage. Johnny oh. Barrett. Sam, I'm going back for the advantage. But they'll come back for the penalty. Well, a couple, couple of quality pieces of defence from the All Blacks. The Barrett brothers, Bowden on the far side. Against the dangerous Dunguno. And then Number as they eight. swept it from right to left, Cotta Betty, excellent from Pattaya to free him up, and he had one road to that try line. He was going right through anything in front of him, and Geordie Barrett was up to it. Well, he hasn't been down late here for a while. Well, a bigger frame, but yep. what's Hooper going to do now? What's his uh, what are we gonna do? tactic? Going to yep. kick in the corner and trust their line out this time round. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Because okay, their mate. line out drive hasn't right, been just, great. Just have a look at that, boys. They're going to back themselves. Check this out, though. Pattaya does enough. Konabeti. Oh, and it's Richie Moonga. Geordie Barrett wasn't even involved. He came up, got stuck, and then over the top, the work. Two changes for the All Blacks. Uh, Nepal Orlala in Jersey 18. Dane Coles makes way also for Cody Taylor. So Tuanga Fasi gone, and Coles gone. So the line out. Five from the line. Philip is the target. Good. They drive hard on him. Well, they need to score next, you'd think the Wallabies. Still only 11 minutes gone once. first half. They can't advance it yet. Now they start to go forward. Taken down just short of the line. 
Now the referee yeah, wants yeah, a look here yeah, because yeah, Brandon Ponga and Morsa has off. stretched out and placed yeah, it down. Check that. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. So on field try because we've seen it grounded on the line. We just want to check how it got there. Okay, Mike, you there? Yeah, mate. So we've got an on-field try. We've seen the ball grounded down here, but we just want to double-check how it got there. Um, can you confirm? So okay. remember on the law interpretations that have slightly changed as you're allowed one dynamic movement yes. whilst you're on the ground. One dynamic yep. movement. Now, he's certainly on the ground. Yep. No doubt about that. Paying a mossa. He's there now. A meter out, he's there. Now he's allowed a dynamic movement, but he's not allowed to crawl. Well, he's pushed himself back up onto his knees, hasn't he? Ben? As long as it's one movement, but yep. it's certainly stopped and stilted. Well, I think in a situation like that, he's allowed to, right, to so reach out. Knees, but so I'm not sure that he's not driven himself over the line out. there. Can he propel knees. himself forward? That's yeah. the key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Angus, have you got me there? Yeah, Mike. Yeah, I agree with that. He, he has stopped short, and then he's used his knees to propel himself a second time. So you need to overturn your on-field decision. Yeah, I agree, mate. I agree with that picture. Up on the knees, and then propels himself forward. It's not in the one movement where he hits and then reaches. He's then up and, and does it again. Yeah? Yeah, I agree. So, no, so it's going to be a no try. Yeah, correct. No try. Yeah. No try, penalty to black, double movement. No try. That's a big call, this. It's the right call, though. I think Double that's movement. quite clear. Use, yeah. Yeah, not yeah, it's not a yeah. momentum okay. movement. No, 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 he's actually right. stopped, yeah. Yeah. and then he's fair. lifted and propelled himself it's forward. So even though you allowed that dynamic movement, it still has to be in motion. Yeah, I think the dynamic gone, movement fine. really refers to a tackle too. That was no, in the mall. He's gone to the ground. He can stretch out, but he can't drive himself over the line. So Geordie Barrett... Yep. who, well, arrived late on the scene that dramatic yep. moment just a few minutes ago and made sure the ball wasn't grounded, finishing off the good work of Richie Long. He puts it away at a touch. Here we go again. Changes, Tony, three changes. First of all, let's uh, do the Australians 20 for eight. So that's Liam Wright on, and that's for Harry Wilson. 16 for two at hooker. And we've got three Barretts on, Scott Barretts on. Out of rugby for so long at Berg moment. Yep. Injured his foot in June and had surgery. Hasn't played a game since then. The All Blacks again driving it and now busting away with it is Cody Taylor. Carried on by Aaron Smith. And they've got it down to halfway. Cooper was looking for it but got blown off the ball. Now Lalala, his first touch. Remember, he was a late withdrawal from the side last week. And Smith will kick. One of the All Blacks. Continue to lead by 13. Clark coming through after it. Oh, brilliantly taken by Dungunu. He was under such immense pressure there. He's diffused that beautifully. Carry from Ala Alatoa. Now they go wide. Here's Pitaya. They'll have to watch it. Ball squirts away from him, though. And the All Blacks can counter-attack. Bowden Barrett up the pass from his brother. Moonga turns it back and field. Cody Taylor. Barrett stayed in contact. That's Bowden Barrett. And now they go to the left. A switch. Geordie Barrett now staying in near the action. And Aaron Smith. Moonga taking it to the line. And into space for Patrick Tuipalotu. Robs the pass away to Kane. Sam Kane scores! Again the intent. Decided to just have a lick from the back, spread it wide, stayed in support. Check out the handling there of Richie Mwanga. The no-look pass brought the defender in. Excellent from Tui Polotu. And Sam Kane, while well, he's running off the shoulder. And the All Blacks with players in motion, just too much to handle for the Wallabies. Oh, that's a really good offload, wasn't it, from Patrick Tui Polotu. Cost him a little bit of cramp and stayed down for a while but that's the kind of form that propelled him back into the selector's eyes this season. His, his play in the loose as well as being in, in control up front, but outstanding for the captain to finish. Crowd loving this. Uh, it's now a 20-point margin. 
And there was a bit of talk about Sam Kane when he was made All Black captain, but his form over these first two Bledisloe Cup matches cannot be faulted, Justin. He's been very, very strong and leading the team perfectly. 17 for one for Australia. Got CO on, also Rob Simmons Time on, back on. In Jersey 19. Well, you have Australia, to think. TJ, uh, sorry, New Zealand, TJ Perinara on for Aaron Smith. TJ. Our TJ. And still 26 minutes to play here, but suddenly the margin is 20 points. And Artie Savio, well, they are on fire now, this all black side. It's right, it's right, it's right. How important no. that Good. defensive play in the corner and also the penalty. That went against Brandon paying Gate 20, Morsa. leave it, you're off it. Leave it, leave it. That was the chance for the Wallabies Good. to get right back into it. But at the moment, it's the All Blacks in control. Another high one taken nicely by O'Connor. Held up by Caleb Push Clark. Back. Here for White now. Chant coming up from the crowd now as Hannigan is put to ground. Pardon me. Now sniping around the short side and doubling around was White. O'Connor trying to step through, no way through. Allen to the centre of the park now. Some nice hands and a lovely ball over the top from Pitaya. Back come the Wallabies now and in space, Corin Betty stepping back and field. Oh, a weaving, brilliant run from Corin Betty. Eventually stopped, keeps the ball alive. White rolls the pass out. This is great stuff from Australia. Pasami. He's taken no! just 10 short Still of the in. line. Now Liam Wright, his first touch, and he goes backwards in the and loses it. No problem. Great work from TJ Perinara. And the All Blacks get a penalty. Huge play from TJ Perinara. They have, at the times when they've needed to, the All Blacks this afternoon. Hey, boys, won come those here, please, you two. Micro battles in the match. Come here. Come here. And that was one of them. That was scintillating no. from Australia, but defensively, so, TJ was up to it. No. I think we can both calm down now. Yeah. Initially stripped in the tackle, then you cannot come and play the ball from there. No, it wasn't. Then let's just quit the carry on, please. Get on with the game. Thank you. Yeah, I think he just got. One more mouthful too Where from TJ Perinata as he walked away. Offside, number nine. TJ. Please. Okay, hold there, guys. Stop. So play back on the ten. Shannon Frizzell does nicely. Got a little awkward on him, but he pulls it once. down. That's once. Now again, they just look to drive it away. No, not the side there, no. And busting away with it now. Pedro breaks a tackle. Puts the kick ahead. After it is Cody Taylor. Oh, it's better to pick it up. Ball's no. loose. It's been no. knocked forward by the All Blacks. Hooper's back there. There was another little knock on in there. Well, the crowd are enjoying this now, Justin. Oh, and he's always up for a battle, TJ Pedernata. Bust down the sideline. That's a Sky Sports Rover clam. You're right with TJ Pedernata. Here's the line. Move. Got through Nick White's tackle. The ball stays in play. Cody Taylor. Sorry. Could have nearly picked it up. Now pressure on the Australian yeah, line out. And oh, it's awkward for White. He's done really well to get out of that. Salakaya Lotu just fired it at his toes. Right, it is. Now, Ten metres out from their own line. There's still plenty of time Leaving left now. in this game. But right now, Australia eight, on the back foot. White. All he can really do is put Sorry. it away in a touch. Change at half back for Australia. Number nine gold sub. Jake Gordon at 21. For Nick White. Who just did not have a happy week Hold this time goal. around? Wait. 
Rob, thank you. Okay. Time on. Cody Taylor, who started last week, and of course is line out throwing. One of his strengths was very good. Savia, they've mixed up their line outs well. Yeah, over now. Taylor has it in the back and fires it away. They look for the inside pass. It's been lost by Cody Taylor. I think this is a really important coming up to last quarter for the Wallabies, Smithy, because the All Blacks have gone bang, bang, bang since half time and really put this test match nearly beyond them. And I'm imagining Dave yeah, Rennie and the rest of his coaching crew, including the players, won't want this to be a blowout. They'll so want to stay in the fight, they'll Careful want to stay the in the contest. And this is a real danger the for them up. if the All Blacks are to really put them to the sword in terms of confidence leading forward to the next two tests in Australia. Of course, the draw last week effectively made it a three-test series, so whoever Crouch. won here today, Bye. and this game's not over by any stretch, but whoever wins here today goes back to Australia knowing that one more, yeah. whoever it is in the Bledisloe yeah. Cup, is theirs. Yeah, OK. okay. Four-test series. Boys, don't push him forward, take the weight. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Let's go, Scotty. Big chest. Let's go, Jordy. Let's go, Crouch. Bind. Set. So Jake Gordon pops it into the scrum, and Australia get a penalty. Collapsing. Yep. In and down. Yeah, stay up. You guys have just come, come on and we've had good good outcomes. Stay up. The penalty goes against Straight Nepal down. Laulala. And Banks puts it out. Yeah. 45 Sub. metres. 12 black on substitution. The corner flag. Second appearance for uh, yep. Peter Umanga Jensen. And that will yeah. be Sorry, boys. Yeah, back for Jack Goodhue. So it looks Tom's as if uh, Leonard Brown shifts into okay. the second five role. Time Umanga on. Jensen to Orthodox centre. Australia win the line out. Flat pass. And they bring Pettire into the play. Got such great footwork. Good quick ball they've got too. Liam Wright with the carry, just out from the 22, back to the right, O'Connor trying to spin as Banks gets past the first tackle, Hodgman got him. Now Salakaya Lotu, big dummy front, but losing it was hunted by Sami, another one who stood out last week, hasn't had such a good day today, Leonard Brown, well he offloaded. No advantage, boys. Unable to pick it up, Shannon Frizzell. They'll come back for the first knock-on. Doesn't miss many tackles, Richie Moonga, does he? He doesn't shy away from them. He and Sam Kane were involved in that one. Yeah. Good play. Sam Whitelock he took a head knock last week. Yeah, I just saw you go in and down. Decision Across made the about Wednesday. Okay. And finally revealed with the team announcement on Friday, but... Same running again, the water this the afternoon, he'll be pleased Go with what he's seen from the locking combination, Justin. Yeah, certainly will be. Good, solid and strong. Very impressive Crouch. tight five also that Australia have managed Bind. to piece together in general. Set. Good at the set piece. Yeah, here we go. Guys, straight to floor on this side. Shoulder height up, please. OK, straight well, to floor. Week, Let's get the shoulder height up. noted about the amount of tackles the All Blacks had to make. 204 tackles to the 102 by Australia. And this is the tackle stats for this week. So reasonably similar. But when you look at the missed tackles, that have really hurt Australia. Crouch! 
They've missed 38 tackles Bind. to only 17 from the All Blacks. Set. That's hurt them. And it's a world away from last week. Off the back comes Savio. TJ Pedernada cut out pass to Barrett Geordie. The kick ahead into the middle of the puck. Banks is there. Gets away from Bowden Barrett, but not Adi Savia. Now Lola ball. trying to claim possession. Australia have it though. With Gordon. Now Salakaya Lotto. The big lock. Now Pitaya. That distinctive running style of his. O'Connor moving on. Salakaya Lotto has another charge. On halfway, Gordon. They keep it going to the right. And O'Connor. Now Paisami accelerating as he goes into contact. Sam Kane got enough of him. And then he was finished off. Hannigan this time moves it on. Simmons is there. Rob Simmons leaves it behind him nicely for Gordon. Well, they still haven't really got the ball over halfway. Salakaya Lotto was third carry of this passage of play. Scott Seal now here for Gordon. Busting onto it, trying to was Hooper. Again, no, leave it, leave it managing no, 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 not no. to steal it, yeah, but to yes, slow it Thank down. Well now Banks up in the line. Right. Gordon now. Now tries a kick. And uh, rolling towards touch inside the 22. But some good defence from the All Blacks. Six black sub. Six. Jersey 20, Hoskins yeah. to Tutu. Uh, and that is for Shannon Frizzell, who well, yeah. answered a few critics yeah, I know. this week. So they said he just wasn't a factor last week in Wellington. I think you'll agree that he was this week in most departments. Yeah. Yeah. Sub done. Okay, time on. Hold, hold gold. Yeah, yeah, some I, great work just, at the just, breakdown. Just, good line out work, a okay. couple of good carries. Let's go, please, Blackie. Who's in? Right up. Okay. All black line out, midway 22 and goal line. Crowd here just loving the afternoon conditions and what they've seen. So Tutu crawled straight into the action. Taken down by Black, no gold on the ground. So Taken the down All Blacks by Black, no gold took on it the down themselves. Now a chance for Australia, maybe to drive over it. All Blacks double back. Use that. Pedernada. Fires it away, Moonga. 20 stop. And out yep. it goes. Well, Damien McKenzie's not far away. Well, let's see. And the Wallabies come hard. Hooper. O'Connor now, Banks trying to step his way through, they've looked after the threat of him too, Umunga Jensen solid on defence, Seal now, working away just short of the 22, O'Connor, little double pump, and a change of angle, and a great one from Pettire, they keep it alive, but once again the ball goes through the hands of one of the wingers, this time it's Corin Betty, didn't go forward, O'Connor now, they work it, from right to left, and then a loose one. Jordy Barrett getting up in the face of Liam Wright, but he's done well. Now he's thrown it away to Moonga. Barrett picks it up. Umunga Jensen is there. So the All Blacks get turnover possession after some good defence. Kane. Well, Hooper came at him, but Kane stood firm. Jordy Barrett clears it. Satutu, who will pose a real threat in broken Can play if he gets the chance. Wait, wait here, wait here, wait. Now Barrett goes high, good. racing forward, calling for O'Connor, takes it well, but the chase is good, Jordy Barrett. And the flag goes up. It got him out of his blind side, Jordy Barrett, O'Connor didn't see him. Jordy Stop. Barrett hit him Let hard enough, it was enough to propel him over the touchline, like I said. All test match, the All Blacks just seem to be winning those little micro battles within it. This will be an innovation and a half, this, fellas. Damien McKenzie for Caleb Clark. What an impression he's made here this afternoon. I reckon he's won one.
busting run away from taking Jacinda off the front page. That's how good he was. Yep. Gets a standing O. What a start. Yeah. Uh, Alan, 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 just come off. The AR's the mark. Just hold, guys. That's a big cap there. Yeah, I'll bring him up. Black, come up. Yep. Okay, happy there. So the Tom All Blacks on. now have cleared the bench. Still 13 to play. They win another line out. Oh, sorry. Good charge from Leonard Brown, who's been one of New Zealand's best today. Satutu goes hard. Now Savia. They've got real momentum now. All the questions that were asked after last week. Oh, they've come up with some answers this afternoon. Hodgman offloads nicely to Satutu, trying to fend off Uelesi. Eventually wrapped up and put on the ground. And it's there for TJ Pedernada. A little sniper, snipe around the fringe. And a carry for Scott Barrett. Pedernara in quickly. Moong and now trying to dance his way through. Good tackle made by no. Pitaya. Well done. Laulala now moving the ball backs and forwards through the hands. Anton Leonard Brown. McKenzie now his first touch. Threading his way through. Taking just five short of the line. Here's another chance for the All Blacks. Hodgman. Stay strong in the tackle. Wright trying to disrupt. Oh, he gets the penalty. 20 on his feet. Oh, they just got their timing in sync and a lot better. The All Blacks this afternoon, but one thing that won't be helping them is the fact that they have cleared the bench and they're still suffering injuries. That's Umanga Jensen by the looks of it, is it Smithy? Yep, he's down the tunnel with the doctor, so Jack Butch, who will come back on. Okay, send him on, mate. Yeah, so, obviously a head knock, so he's able to be replaced. Good Hugh back Stop. out there. Jordan Uelesi. Yeah, Simmons wins it. Well, what have they got left? 11 minutes to play. The Wallabies, they'll look, surely, to get some points. In the last 10, 11 minutes, just to finish on a positive note, trailing by 20 points. Coming now for Jordan O'Connor, little change of angle. Salakaya Lotu certainly put up his hand to carry the ball in the second half. Ball ricocheting yeah, yeah, away in the advantage. tackle of Satuta. Referee's playing advantage, they'll come back. In the tackle. Knock on in the tackle. Well, they've certainly managed to achieve line breaks this afternoon in Australia. And they've got in behind the All Blacks, but their scramble defence and in general, their momentum in coming forward New Zealand this afternoon has been very, very good go, because boys. they've the mark. thrown plenty at them, Australia, but they've been equal yep. to it defensively this afternoon, New Zealand. 46,049, Tony. Not a bad crowd for a Sunday afternoon. Here we go. As I say before, we're just okay, boys, lucky no that we can play side. sport of this caliber in front of a side. crowd like this. Thank you. Let's hope it continues. Let's go, he's got it. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Got short. Yeah. Okay, boys, be patient, please. So into the last 10 minutes. Crouch. Yeah, what is Find. known for the afternoon is Cooper's Catch Stadium. Set! Too much, Black. Yeah, play on. Taken too, quickly too too by Jake Gordon. And they give it away to Corin Betty. They roll him out towards the touchline, but he keeps the ball in play. O'Connor now, quickly up they come. Scott Seal is there. Such an effective effect. Alatoa, in fact, it was. Now they come back the other way. Ball's been lost, though. TJ Pedernada again. He's a nuisance. He's been physical since he came on. He obviously adds that physicality. Slightly different to Aaron Smith. But in there, there you can see he's got his arms around the ball wrapped. And as he pulls Corabetti okay, to the ground. 
He tried to do the same thing to Korobeti just previously, and that time it worked on Ala Alatoa. Physical, Terenara. Just, just hold your way. Yeah, my bad. Uh, we saw a shot there just a moment ago, Justin, of the All Black coaching staff. A fair bit of attention focused on them in the last week or so. They'll be feeling just a little bit more comfortable tonight after this performance. Even though they don't look it. Absolutely, yeah. Well, they've, they were forced to make some changes. They did make others in areas where they felt they needed to. And they certainly have shown a lot more rhythm okay, and timing guys. this afternoon. I'm just hearing that Mumanga Jensen's failed his HIA, so he had a really good impact on the game when he came on earlier. And unfortunately for him, he hasn't been able to okay, let's keep the stay on the field the at this, this stage, time. but the promising black. signs. So all black Crouch. ball, just short of halfway. Bind! Set! <laughs> keep, so keep it up! in the back of the scrum and they start to march forward and this is an area where they've done well maybe conceded one penalty but for the most part they've been very good at scrum time well they've grown haven't they tony because the first two or three scrums it didn't look that good at all so they've made the adjustment whether it's a personnel one or a technique one or both but certainly it's grown in confidence as their game has throughout this afternoon Yeah, time off. Got some boots here. That was, that was on the loose head side. Hodgman it was good, strong, stable scrummaging. He ended up popping his opposite. So, yeah, for sure, I agree with you. They've definitely grown in stature this afternoon, and the replacements have probably added as well since they've come on. He made a pretty good debut, hasn't he? Alex Hodgman coming in for Carl Tui Nukuafi, who, of course, is renowned as a scrummager. But a couple of penalties, I guess it's a team effort, but Alex Hodgman certainly at the centre of a couple. Of very big man, the loose head prop. What a great moment for him to make a test debut in front of his home fans. Tom on. like he might get some more action too as the rugby championship and the Bledisloe Cup continues across the Tasman line out goes to Tui Palotu goes through the hands of Tui Palotu a rare mistake at set piece the All Blacks today O'Connor on to Hodge now Claw and Betty now Pitaya good scything tackle made by Goodhue straight back to his feet Hodge popping up now on the far side. Simmons now runs into Satutu. Throws him to the ground. Kane in there trying to disrupt. Pops up for Gordon. Again, they work down the narrow channel. Hodge ejecting some pace as he goes into contact. Back to O'Connor. Salatai Lotu really has been a willing, a willing carrier of the ball. Pitaya now bumps off. Richie Moonga, but he can't get past Jordy Barrett, and the ball ends up in touch. Off an all black foot, I think. Still live, mate. Go. You got an option. Scrum or a line out. Just check with Michael. Yeah, off the black hand. Yeah, so that's off Adi Sabia's hand as he looked to flick scrum. it back on the inside. Go, boys, scrum here. Pattaya, dangerous runner. Scrum option. He's a good defender, Richie Moonga, but he got rid of him, go. him with She's ease done. there. No doubt a player that's going to feature, as you mentioned, in this rugby championship slash continuing Bledisloe Cup series in Australia. If this is any evidence from what we've seen in the last two weeks, we've got plenty of entertainment ahead of us. Keep working the gap. Wait for the Certainly. call. They've been outplayed this afternoon, Australia, but they've been gutsy and tough, and they've shown us enough that they're going Crouch. to have a lot more to Bind. say in the weeks going forward. 
I guess Set. important for them, Justin, too, that they can get through the last five minutes of this game without conceding any more points. Yep. Good. Off the back comes Liam Wright. Gordon now, O'Connor quickly through the hands. Corin Betty, well, his hands have let him down a couple of times this afternoon. We know how lethal he is. It just, apart from that one try, just hasn't really happened. More than a couple of times, Corin Betty, because there was plenty of space there, and he probably this afternoon hasn't been up to the quality expected and been able to hold on to the ball. Yeah. Yeah. That was McKenzie, who was the last defender for the All Blacks. Goodhue, I mean, that's not sorry, Goodhue, who's back on the field, had come up really straight and strong, and there was an overlap. He just had to hold on to it. Korobeti. I think that's a legacy go, of the All Black defence throughout the afternoon. I just don't think any of the Australian backs have been that confident that there wasn't going to be an All Black in very close proximity when they were catching the ball and you could see his Crouch. eyes leave the ball at the point there where Point. he thought he was going to get hit and he wasn't. What an afternoon for Set. that family. So Pedernada feeds the scrum on halfway. Use now, Satutu use, use it. Picks Good. it up. Away it goes to Pedernada. Cut out ball to Leonard Brown. Nice offload away to Geordie Barrett. Two, two, two. No, you're on the body, there not it is on again the ball. For You've got to be on the ball. Knock on advantage. Lost. I think it was uh, Scott Barrett who came up to take it, but the All Blacks have lost possession. Oh, what can Australia do now? Dungunu it was. Back it comes to Gordon. Away now to Scott Seal. He's put on the ground. Gordon there swings the ball away. A loopy pass for O'Connor, puts a bit of pressure on his teammates, and Anton Leonard Brown's up very quickly in defence. Now driven back in the tackle was Tom Banks. That's great work no, no, no. from Hoskins Good. to Tutu. No, no, Torin Betty pops it up. And Australia back inside their 22. Gordon Hooper says, I'll take it. Now the tackle from Hodgman is good. No, it's not. Yeah, it is Gordon now. again. On from O'Connor to Banks. Trying to thread his way past Cody Taylor, but Taylor secure on the tackle, and in the end, they just put it away in a touch. Boys, is that still live? Yep. Still live. Well, Barrett thinking about a quick throw. Not on. So into the last two minutes, Tui Polotu wins another line-out. Sam Kane puts a lovely short ball away to Gutsu. No, full pass. Great call, Benny. Yeah, forward there, boys. They just the didn't the quite out. get it in sync, the All Blacks. Yeah, great call. He peeled away Sam Kane, but Goodhue's line was yeah. already committed. He'd come from outside yeah. in. Yeah. And forward out of the hands. Full pass, under a forward pass, yeah. Haven't got much wrong this afternoon, the All Blacks. It's pretty, in general, very faultless performance. Even though they're under the pump early in this test match, they were still winning a con well, contest at the breakdown and turning the ball over. This guy's been outstanding. Sam Kane, what a leader. So, Justin, about 20 minutes you get go, you said it was important for Australia to, to finish strongly. They have not done that. Psychologically, how do you feel they're going to leave? Yeah, it's a good point, Smithy. Look, they've, they've certainly... Okay been industrious they've thrown lots of innovation at the all blacks this afternoon but really enthusiasm out of, enthusiasm out of the shed has been all the all blacks i still as i i think i probably said a few minutes ago feel there's enough signs there there's enough x factor as well in this australian team and they've fronted up up front Crouch. physically as well that i'll probably just readdress this move on Set. There's still plenty to come from them. Oh, they get a penalty. Number 18. Well, what are they going to do? Hey, you, they can put it out for a line out. out. If they 18, want to, they can end out. the game. No, they're going for a line out. They want to have one more go. Have the last say. So much to look forward to in the coming weeks, though. The rugby championship, three team competition this year, and Sad that South Africa won't be able to make it. We understand why.
Argentina are there. Australia and New Zealand. And the Bledisloe Cup is still open. It's a lie. It is a lie. And it's what everyone wanted. Australia can still take it with two wins on their own turf. The message from the All Blacks today has been not here, not on our patch. They come back for the penalty, will they? They do. Four. Yeah, four in the side. Four black. Yep. Yeah, you can still have the line out. Number four in the side. Yeah, you still got time. Pardon me? Yep. No, they'll try again. Banks. Yeah, I just can't see you. Yeah, can't see you swing round. Just go. looking for a little psychological boost at the end of what has been a very difficult afternoon for them. Well, let's see. Taken down by Simmons. And over. Now the All Blacks will have to defend their line, holding them up. Initially, but Gordon will have to get rid of it, waiting for it as Hodge. Ball's been lost, scooped up by the All Blacks. Now maybe a chance to finish in style. Barrett, little show of the ball. Popped up to Savia. Now let it ground away to Moonga. No, McKenzie couldn't take it. Pataya, in fact, yeah, Pataya is back there. He emerges with the ball and he heads off. We're going to have another one of those, are we? Already two minutes into the red. Little okay, gummy Danny's from over. Gordon and a dab. Good tackle made from Savia. Carried on, though, by Liam Wright. They keep it alive, Australia. O'Connor. Now off. Oh, that one's floated horribly for That'll be the yeah, end of the game. Guys. Not here. Not at Eden Park. Once again, as they've done so often, the All Blacks bounce back from a disappointing performance and come up with a very good one and win it by 27 to 7.